Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the cheerful subject of coffin births. As you may already know, the human body undergoes many disgusting changes after death occurs. The putrefaction process changes the appearance of the corpse in many surprising ways. As the cells of the body start to break down, broken blood vessels release blood cells into the skin and cause discoloration and bruising. Bacteria in the body starts to produce gases that bloat the corpse. In medieval times, when the fear of the undead was very real, people would sometimes dig up a grave and see a bloated, red-skinned corpse and believe it to be a vampire, swollen with the blood of its victims. In reality, it was just proof of the disturbing way the body continues to react once a person has died. Coffin births happen when a pregnant woman dies and her body is not embalmed or cremated. Inside the woman's body, bacteria in the intestines start to break down cell walls, releasing gases which cause the abdomen to expand and distend. Additionally, gases build up in the woman's uterus, not only from the liquids present during pregnancy, but also from the rotting body of the baby inside her. Now these gases can't escape easily, and human flesh can only stretch so far. This can get so bad that corpses have been known to literally explode from the pressure the bellies bursting open, spilling the putrefied innards in the process. However, in the case of the pregnant corpse, the gases in the uterus have one other means of escape, through the vaginal opening. Often, this gas escapes with such force that the fetus is expelled also. In this way, a woman gives birth to her child after both of them have died, a morbid example of death imitating life. And this is what's known as a coffin birth. As you can imagine, the corpses are well rotted at this point. Along with the baby, the mother also gives birth to thousands of maggots. This is a sight that greeted the team tasked with performing the autopsy on the corpse of an unidentified 38-year-old woman from Panama. The woman was seven months pregnant when she was killed. She was gagged, strangled, and a plastic bag was placed over her head until she suffocated to death. Then her body was dumped in an open field. Her corpse was discovered several days later. By this time, it had been exposed to tropical, humid weather conditions and flesh-eating insects that rapidly accelerated the decomposition process. The body was extremely bloated, and when her underwear was removed, a rotting, maggot-filled fetus was found in the gusset, still attached to the mother via the umbilical cord. But it's not always decomposition that causes a coffin birth. Sometimes, if the death is traumatic enough, a woman can give birth spontaneously at the moment of death. In the same way a terrified animal will void its bowels, occasionally death will trigger rapid birth contractions. This used to happen on the rare occasions when a pregnant woman was sent to the gallows. Sometimes, during her death throes, she would expel a fetus which would dangle between her legs from the umbilical cord, the child performing a grim parody of its mother's death. There are quite a few pictures of coffin births online if you search for them. Unfortunately, most are far too graphic to be shown on YouTube, which means this is going to be a fairly short video. I'll leave it up to you to seek out such images, if you really want to see that sort of thing. You would think that the grim reality of coffin births would inspire some great horror fiction, but I haven't come across much that deals with the subject. One book I can recommend is by Ramsey Campbell and is titled The Doll Who Ate His Mother. Not only is it a horror story that deals with coffin births in an extremely creepy way, but also every issue of the book seems to have terrifying cover art. This is what my copy looks like. So that's pretty much all there is to say about coffin births. It's just one more fucked up thing to add to a list of fucked up things in the world. So, sweet dreams everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps my channel grow. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.